Good morning, my friends, and welcome to today's video in my bathroom. I thought for the beginning we would get ready for a little bit. I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair. We're gonna do the whole makeup situation. This bathroom is really hard to set up a camera. <laughs> but I washed my face in the shower, so I don't need to do that. But I wanted to show you some of the products that I really, really like and kind of how I do my hair. Hair is brushed and I kind of set my part a little bit and because I have bangs now, I kind of try and find them like that and kind of brush them in the right way. Honestly, I let my hair air dry for a long time because I have very, very dry, big, frizzy <laughs> hair and it likes to hold water. It tends to break at the ends uh, which is why it takes me so long to grow it out and actually can't grow it super, super long. So I like to not use heat products on it as much as possible. So I very rarely blow dry my hair. If I'm like in a rush and it's wet and I gotta run, I'll do it up in a twist or something because I just, like even with the blow dryer, it takes like 20 minutes for it to be dry. It just doesn't like to dry. We leave it wet. Since I don't have to go anywhere for two and a half hours, it should be able to dry in time and then I can style it. I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do yet. This is totally sans makeup. I have no moisturizer, I have nothing on right now. But the moisturizer I've been using is this one from Mary Kay. It's very expensive, but I got it seven months ago and I still have some in here. I should probably actually order another one or maybe a different one. I actually like it a lot. I think it's SPF 30 Volume Firm Day Cream Sunscreen. Time Wise Repair. So I really like it. It feels really good. It smells really good, which seems like a weird thing to say about your moisturizer. I do get it at a small discount because I know a guy. So I don't pay full price for it, but it is about $50 for one bottle. But I don't know, $50 for seven to nine months of use before it runs out. That's pretty good. I'm gonna go talk to my kids while I kind of let the moisturizer sink in, so I'll be back in a second. Here's the makeup bag. I have a combination of high-end products and e.l.f. makeup. I'm fairly simple when it comes to my makeup. Just a quick layer of foundation, quick, quick dusting of powder, and eye makeup. My favorite foundation is from Fenty Beauty. I picked it up at Sephora. I had them match it to my skin. I was like, help me. And I think it's really good quality. I really like this. It's about $30 or something like that. And I have this like foundation brush that I picked up at Walmart. This one was about $17. So I've had this for a long time. So even though it's $30, it lasts forever. I like to do a little bit of blush and shading with these two colors from just e.l.f. $4 or something like that. It's super, super light. I didn't say I was a pro at this. Just enough to give me some color. And I tend to have a really round face. And you know, just anywhere sunlight would hit and sun doesn't hit in the winter here. <laughs> So a little dusting. I used to have a bronzer, but I ran out of it. That's pretty much it on the face. If I'm in a really big hurry, I'll skip the foundation step completely and just go straight to this e.l.f. powder just to kind of take the shine off and that's it. Eye makeup, I'm a little more into. So I have three brushes here and one inside this that I use to do my eyeshadowing. I am using this Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner from Kat Von D. It was a free sample in a, my birthday Sephora box. And my mascara is Dior Iconic Curl Show from Christian Dior. Got it at Sephora. This is my favorite mascara. It's about $30. Eyeshadow palette. I have the Urban Decay Naked palette. I broke the lid so it's like off, but you can see which ones are my favorites. Um, that one's totally gone, but I use this one as a highlighter. I use this gray a lot as an all over and these colors as like a shadowing a little bit and this shimmer one as like a smoky smudge around the outside. So highlighter first, just right up under the eyebrow, super fast, dab in the corner of the eye, and a hint right up at the top of my cheekbone kind of, where light would hit, basically. And that one's done. The all over, I'm gonna do gray today. Don't worry. I'll fix my bangs later. They're, my hair's a little uncontrollable until I 
get the tools out. <laughs> Crease brush. I'm gonna do the purple one. And my favorite, so the brush that comes with it, I use this shorter end, this smudgy end with the shiny, shiny silver color. Let's see if I can do it right here in the camera for you. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. Anyway, I go right along the corner on the top and the bottom. Don't worry, I'll smooth it out. Like that kind of. I do better in the mirror. Okay, so that's how that looks. So it looks a little smudgy and it looks a little weird until I put the mascara on. Don't forget to curl. I could go just like that, but my eyes are my favorite feature about myself. And so I like to highlight them as much as possible. I'll do a little liquid eyeliner as well, just to give it a little pop. Okay, makeup is done. My hair is still fairly wet, uh, especially back here in the back and on the tops, really, really wet. While I'm waiting for that to dry, we're gonna have the kids wrap some white elephant presents. We're getting ready to go to a big family party. I mentioned it in an earlier vlog. I'm not sure which one, but it's a big, lunch slash dinner with two of Dave's sisters, their husbands, and all of their kids. So with all of the kids combined, I believe it's 14 kids and six adults. So it was a big deal. We did a big white elephant exchange with all the kids. It was super fun. We played games. We had this great food. That's why I brought the big salad. I was in charge of the salad. So I brought the huge spinach salad for everybody. They smoked like two briskets. There were all these homemade rolls, jello salad, pumpkin pie, cherry pie, this cheesecake thing, candy. The kids put on like a Frozen 2 show for us. It was so cute. But I didn't record at the dinner, not really. Like I recorded the food a, li a little bit, but not any of the people. I really wanted to respect the privacy of these family members who uh, don't necessarily want to be on social media. So I apologize, I did not bring the camera out while I was there, but I hope you understand that, you know, as far as my kids go, and then my sister obviously gave permission to have her kids on video, but Dave's sisters have not. So here's us wrapping the presents and we are finishing preparations for the big family dinner. Here's the dressing I'm making for the salad for today. Sorry about the splatters, I use this book a lot. It's got stuff spilled on it. Can you get me out a really big mixing bowl for the salad? so I can put it together? I'd love to. Because I'm still waiting for my hair to dry. A really big mixing bowl for salad. Yeah, like. Do you want a metal one or a glass one? You're looking at me while I'm bending over, aren't you? Yeah. How about the, the biggest one? The biggest metal one? Biggest metal. Okay, I believe I got everything that I need and we're gonna mix it up. Okay, I'm gonna put the salad together. I have this huge container of spinach and my head of lettuce and a 13 quart bowl. I'm gonna mix everything in. I think my spinach got a little frozen in the fridge, which is a total bummer, but we'll see how we do. Okay, welcome back to my bathroom. Different angle, but I thought you could see it better. So my hair is, I would say mostly dry. It's still damp, like up near my scalp. So I'm gonna run my blow dryer just real quick over the hair to dry the scalp area. Okay, that feels a little bit better. It still feels a touch damp, but I don't have time to wait anymore. This is my hair mostly air dried and without doing anything to it. So as you can see, it's a problem. This is a straightener that I use to the hair taming session. So as you can tell, I let my hair air dry for about two hours and then blow dried it for five to 10 minutes, maybe five minutes. And then this clip actually ended up being 10 minutes with the straightening iron. So if I had gone from like completely wet to finished product, it takes at least 45 minutes to do my hair from start to finish from like getting out of the shower to totally dry and styled, which means getting ready for events is really a, a thought-provoking process. Like, 
how long am I gonna take to do my hair? Like my hair takes so long to dry and style and tame into submission that it does end up in a ponytail a lot of the week. It's just easier. Um, I feel like it looks nice once I finally do it, but it just really, really is difficult. And because it wasn't completely dry, the you know, when I was doing this, um, I couldn't get it to settle down all the way. It needs to be 100% dry for me to do it straight like this. And it really wasn't at the base. I still couldn't get it perfect. So I wasn't super happy with it. You'll see in a sec. Okay, my hair was not cooperating, so I pulled it into a, like a half back. I have my Stitch Fix earrings. I did the green Stitch Fix top that I just got, and I got it unstaticky thanks to you guys' tips. I just rubbed a dryer sheet on the inside of it. Black skirt. I have these shoes I haven't worn in a while. I got from DSW a couple years ago, and one of my favorite coats I got from Kohl's. My watch got caught. <laughs> How's that? Are the shoes too much to wear my boots? What do you think? <laughs> Who is she? Right? <laughs> Should I wear the boots or these? Give the boots a try. Okay, try the boots. I think it's the white coat. Why is there ice here? I think I like the boots better than the other shoes. I think so too. Because it lets the coat speak. No. Mm -hmm. As the statement piece of the outfit. Which is my fashion tip for you. Pick one statement piece. Not five. Mom, 72.5. Not ten. <laughs> There's a couple people I know who wear like ten statement pieces at one time and it's a lot. It's just a lot. I like to pick one statement piece and then the rest can be background. So if I was gonna pick my shoes, everything else would be muted. Today it's gonna to be the coat. And let's go. There's the salad, but it has saran wrap on it, so you can't see it very well. <laughs> but there it is. There's the dressing. There's the salad. I'll show you better when we get there. Look, look what's happening. So Dave's sister gave me this book for Christmas. I'm very excited about a cookbook of on the go food for athletes. So this is for specifically endurance athletes, high carbs, the challenges of getting enough food while, while you're doing like long, long bike rides and runs and stuff like that. I'm excited to dig into this, try some food. Tyler, how do you like chess? Are you pretty good yet? <laughs> not not uh, medium? <laughs> I don't know. Mmm. Guess what Lauren and I are doing? I can't think of anything worthy. We're just wrapping presents. <laughs> White Christmas. Love it or hate it? If you love it, tell me your favorite scene. The sisters scene when the boys do it. It's a riot. I think it's an excellent, excellent wrapping job. I'm working on mine. And we have to use packing tape because we ran out of the other kind. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. Went through, hopefully. Uh, That's all right. That didn't get on. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs>